you're not going to be able to see my face. You should all be happy about that. Because you always say, hey, Father, I don't want to see your face. Your fat face, right? <laughs> Especially after I just ate a gigantic dinner at Carmine's. This video is now financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. I'm an entertainer. The one and only eight ball drive-in, and I'm looking forward. My wife is in the back seat. My son wants to be a big shot, so he wants to sit next to me, right, Mike? Mike wants to sit in the in the, in the king seat here. So now my poor wife is in the is in the back. All right. Anyway, wow! I had to make this video because I just watched Lou Uncle Festa. It's incredible. I'm, I'm trying to keep this respectful because I have my children in the car with me and I have my wife. But I am super, super angry. Okay, so he starts off Lou. He goes, somebody emailed him in the family. Yeah, all right. Saying they had 30,000 shares. But they had to slowly reduce their shares. I guess for whatever their reasons are. Personal, whatever the case may be. Let me explain to you the way the eight fall this is. The only legitimate reason that you should sell your AMC is emergency. That's it, emergency. So what does emergency mean? It means you have to pay your bills. It means you have to feed your family. I'm okay with that. Seriously, it, it was, you, I had a guy one time, I'll tell you a story. He says to me, hey father, my children have not eaten in four days. And I'm like, what? He goes, I refuse to sell my AMC I'm going to let my children starve. I said, no, you're a psychopath, I said. You sell your AMC ASAP right now, and you go feed your children. Matter of fact, I sent that guy $300. I, <laughs> I used one of the guys I sent money to. I, I was like, you can't starve your children. All right, so anyway, get him back. If it's not an emergency, and you're selling it, like, let me just, I want to be perfectly crystal, crystal clear. Let's say you have enough money to pay your bills. Let's say you have enough money to feed your children. You have enough money to eat. You are not financially struggling. So you are selling your AMC because you no longer believe in it. I got beach. You got beach. So in other words, you're selling your AMC because you want to get into different plays because you feel AMC is a dead goose. It's a dead duck. And, and, and you want to get into something else. Then you are the stupidest, dumbest, I have to watch what I say because my children are in the car. You're very stupid, okay? We'll leave it at that. Because you are giving up on a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, a generational wealth opportunity. Okay, what is it? Because you just don't have patience? What's your problem, man? See, the way Lou made that video was that the guy who he was referring to had it. Obviously, he has enough money. He, he's, he wants to get involved in different plays. He no longer believes in AMC anymore. Now, let me tell you what bothered me even more than that. Lou condoned it. Uncle Festa condoned it, meaning he thought it was a good idea. And then he he actually went on to say all these negative things. He's like, look, I said it in the beginning. I'm not really in this for AMC. He's like, I'm in this to make money. And along the way, if you got to do what you got to do, meaning like sell AMC and get involved in other plays, he goes, you do that. He goes, because it's your money and you don't have to apologize. So, but, but wait a minute. What happened to the guy with the secret connections? Okay, because I got into AMC because of Lou. I got into AMC because of Uncle Festa. What happened to the guy who said, this is the play that's going to change your life? If you have family with cancer, this is going to help you pay your medical bills. This is going to help your children go through college. This is going to be general. What happened to that guy? Remember Uncle Festa? The real price of AMC is $4,000, $5,000 a share in the dark pools. Uh, 8,000, 10,000 a share in the dark pools, 15,000, 20,000 a share in the dark pools. What happened to the guy who said he had a secret connection that met him in the park that said, oh, AMC is going to go down to 30 and then a, and they shoot up to $100 a share. And then it's going to start a managed event, $100, $200, $300, dollars a share. What happened to the guy who said Elon Musk selling his shares is going to start the Moaz? What happened to the guy Eva, Eva Grande? is gonna start the MOAS. What happened to the guy, higher interest rates are gonna start the MOAS. What happened to the guy, tensions with Russia and Ukraine is gonna start the MOAS. What happened to the guy who said his cousin, who was at his house eating Spanish rice and beans? The, the cousin, remember his cousin? He said that AMC is gonna to go to new highs and start the MOAS. 
What happened to his cousin? Did the rice and beans make him shit so bad he had to run back to Mexico? What happened to his cousin? Okay, so the point I'm saying to you, Lou, you have a, a big pair of you-know-what. You have nerve. You have some nerve that after all of this you're preaching, now you're telling apes to sell. He's basically telling you to sell. If you listen closely to his video, in little to no words, he's saying, sell your apes. He's like, you do what you gotta do. It doesn't matter if you have a smaller position. Nah, 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 nah. Lou, you know what? Look, this was by far the worst video Lou has ever made. I believe it shows his true colors of what a crook and a con man he is. And that's it. I have to watch what I say because I'm with my children. Ape father out.